I, I've had this Lincoln Vantage um, 400 since 2016. I bought it with 730 hours on it, it's done about 930 so I thought well I'll change the oil and filter. It's an Australian machine with a Perkins 4040, it's 27 horsepower I think. It's just operated absolutely faultlessly. Um, oil change, terrible. Um, according to Lincoln manual you, you access the, the um, drain, you take the battery out and there's supposed to be a valve about there on the, on the sump or when Americans would call it an oil pan. But there's not, there's a um, there's a there's a plug and it's actually 21 millimeters which is one millimeter under seven eighths so seven eighths is sloppy the trouble is that hex plug is sitting on this um see if you can see it here no yeah this hex plug is sitting right on the pressing for this fork hoist um access hard against it and I couldn't get it out. So I used to be a heavy diesel um, engineer on the sh on a tugboat, um, well medium speed um, diesels to um, 6,000 horsepower and I also used to work for the Cummins Engine Company and I rebuilt a lot of um, higher speed engines to 2100 um, revolutions and uh, 600 horsepower. Uh, so I know quite a bit about diesels now. Before you you do it yourself as and um, car mechanics jump up and down at what I'm going to say now, don't because an engine, any engine, any engine, internal combustion engine will run longer without oil than it will without oil without water. So because I couldn't get all this out. I spun off the filter, well I didn't spin the filter off, I had to take it off with a pipe wrench. That's another thing, all you need to do is put a bit of grease on the seal. Just do it up till it makes contact lightly, then do it up a quarter of a turn, otherwise you never get them off. So when you get the oil filter off, it's a good idea to take a hacksaw and split it down the middle or cut it across ways and then spread the filtrate out on a bench on a bit of newspaper. If there's aluminium in there you know it's piston material and if there's coppery shiny sort of goldy pieces you know it's big end material. That's a good idea um, particularly when you're buying a truck or something like that you should ask the old owner would you mind swapping out the filter for me. You can read that filter and tell exactly what the condition the engine is. So back onto the oil change. Um, okay, I can't get this plug out, no way. So I just tilt the engine a little bit. The side that's facing us now. I lifted the other side, and um, what I did was I just took that filter off. I started the engine and let and let it pump out into a bucket. And as soon as it stopped pumping, I just switched it off. And um, of course, it only took a few seconds. And um, you ca as I said, there's so much residue of oil banging around around the bearings and everywhere else, top end, that you can't do it any harm. It'll probably run for a while without load. Um, they do. I've seen it happen. In fact, once I was in a workshop and this guy was rebuilding a Mercedes Benz car. Anyway, he put it all together and he took it for a road test and when he came back he said to the boss, I forgot to put the oil in it. Well, he put the oil in it and it ran happily ever after. They never told the owners, I mean it was a very dishonest workshop but that was so embarrassing. Anyway, according to the manual this pan, some call it what you like, holds 8 litres. That's a hell of a lot of oil for a little engine. And it's well, like it's only about 130 cubic inch, I think. Um, great little engine, and um, it's also a very big filter for a small engine. Um, it's been well thought out, but as I say, the design, uh, how to drain that oil. I mean, some of these Vantage welders are put on trailers, and um, 
and uh, I guess then you could cut a hole it, all this bottom is plated in I guess you could cut a hole and there's another I couldn't see it but there's another fitting right on the bottom of the pan as well as one on the front so save yourself a lot of heartache and it's really quick and don't forget what I told you read the filter once you understand what's in what's been happening inside the engine from the filter you'll have peace of mind yep so there you go